do subscribe to the channel the navies of india and the uae carried out a military exercise as part of efforts to boost maritime security cooperation prime minister narendra modi lays foundation of saint ravidas temple at bartama madhya pradesh president draupadi murmu has granted assent to the digital personal data protection bill 2023 dpdp bill Home Minister Amit Shah inaugurates three connectivity projects costing 360 crore rupees to boost coastal security in Gujarat. Railways Ministry to establish Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadhi Kendras at railway stations across the country. Bank of Maharashtra cuts home and car loan interest rates. RBI selects McKinsey and Company, Accenture Solutions to use AI and milliliter to improve regulatory super. Chhattisgarh, one of the poorest states in the country, is the second best in overall fiscal health scorecard after Maharashtra. Anwar Ul Haq Kakar has been named Pakistan's new caretaker prime minister. Armenia calls for help from UN on Nagorno-Karabakh region. Australia men's and women's hockey teams seal Olympic Games 2024 qualification. Asian Champions Trophy 2023, Japan defeats Korea 5-3 to claim third place. India men's hockey team jumps to third spot in FIH rankings. Indian government has reiterated its desire to host the Olympics while the 2026 Commonwealth Games. The Reserve Bank of India (RBI) announced to increase the transaction payment limit from Rs. 200 rupees to Rs. 500 for UPI light in offline mode to promote digital transactions. The National Company Law Tribunals (NCLT) Kolkata bench has approved National Asset Reconstruction Company Limited's (NARCL) resolution plan for two stray group companies. India's only profitable multi-segment fintech operating at scale with a banking license, Airtel Payments Bank, becomes the first Indian bank to launch eco-friendly debit cards for its new and existing customers with a savings bank account. Kotak Mahindra Life Insurance Company, Kotak Life stated that its corporate agency ties up with ESAF Small Finance Bank ESAF Bank to offer life insurance to customers the government has disbursed 2900 crore rupees till march 2023 under the production linked incentive PLI scheme the prime minister shri narendra modi laid the foundation stone and dedicated to the nation development projects in sagar madhya pradesh one district one product odop program an initiative under the department for promotion of industry and internal trade dpiit ministry of commerce and industry launched its collaboration with the ministry of rural development in new delhi union home minister and minister of cooperation shri amit shah performed the bhumi poojan and laid the foundation stone of the ifco nano dap liquid plant at gandhi dham gujarat the exhibition titled women in focus Visualizing feminine constructs in Indian art was inaugurated by SMT Meenakshi Lekhi, Minister of State for External Affairs and Culture, at the National Museum. Shri Dharmendra Pradhan, Union Minister for Education and Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, launched Direct Benefit Transfer (DBT) in National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme. Investor Education and Protection Fund Authority (IEPFA) CEOs Anita Shah Akilla launched two investor awareness vans titled Niveshak Sarathi from IEPFA's headquarters as part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations aligning with the theme From Unawareness to Financial Independence. The bilateral trade between India and Angola has grown from 2.14 billion dollars in 2020-21 to 4.22 billion dollars during 2022-23. In Ladakh, the State Tourism Department is organizing an awareness come cleanliness drive under Mission Travel for Life and Meri Mati Mera Desh campaign at Holiyal Dras in collaboration with Roots Ladakh Rural Development and Panchayat Raj Department, RDNPRD, Wildlife Department, Education Department and local women self-help groups. The gross direct tax collection has registered a growth of around 16% to 653000 crore rupees compared to the corresponding period last year. Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited IRDA a mini ratna category I Government of India enterprise under the administrative control of Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has achieved a remarkable milestone with an all time high quarterly profit after tax PAT of 295 crore rupees and profit before tax PBT of Rs 440 crores in the first quarter of the fiscal year 2023-24
Union Home Minister Amit Shah hailed the team of National Automated Fingerprint Identification System NFIS, of NCRB for winning the gold award under the Excellence in Government Process Reengineering for Digital Transformation Category 1 of the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances. After much anticipation, Shakib Al Hassan has been appointed as the captain of the Bangladesh One Day International Cricket Team, replacing Taman Iqbal. The Indian hockey team on the 12th of August defeated Malaysia 4-3 to win for the fourth time at the Asian Champions Trophy 2023 final at the Mayor Radhakrishnan Stadium in Chennai. International Left-Handers Day 2023 is the 31st annual Left-Handers Day celebrated on the 13th of August every year. Every year World Organ Donation Day is celebrated on the 13th of August to raise awareness about the importance of organ donation and encourage people to donate their organs after death.